After the earthquake and tsunami of February 27th, the main concern and priority of the company was to verify the physical, emotional, and material conditions of its employees by organizing diverse ways of going to help them. Cleaning products, food, water, and essential goods were distributed. In addition, house visits were carried out to verify the situation of the most affected workers, always giving them strength, faith, and letting them know that their job would be waiting for them. The UGA Help Management Unit, conformed by a team of HR and four fully dedicated engineers, was created for this only purpose, and it was used to coordinate both our donations and those coming from Beckhart. All our collaborators received a special bonus to cover expenses caused by the earthquake. The families affected by the tsunami received basic goods like beds, mattresses, quilts, clothes, ranges, and refrigerators. A specialized evaluation of the structural damage to their houses was carried out by the UGA team, and they were given temporary loans to repair their homes. Jose Ira Rasaval was one of the workers that suffered most from the catastrophe. His house was flooded and suffered structural damage, but he has been able to recover most of his loss thanks to the support provided by Inshalam. The homes of a total of 155 company workers were damaged. 20% of these damages were serious and irreparable. 15% were houses flooded by the tidal wave, and 65% suffered minor damage and loss. They have all received help of some kind. A large number of our workers lived in Talcahuano, so not only did they suffer from the earthquake, but some of them also lost from the tsunami, which left some of them homeless. This is the case of Juan Lopez, who recently retired from Inchalam, but who always felt sure that the institution in which he worked practically all of his life would help him in these difficult moments. In reality, no hay palabras como expresarse para todo esto porque no teníamos nada si la casa está inhabitable, eh, no hay alcantarillado, no hay luz, no hay nada, entonces era imposible y volver. Tampoco el dinero no alcanzaba para rentar. Y... Fuimos sinceros en decirle que no se podía, pero tampoco esperábamos todo lo que nos han dado, no, no. Eh, 
¿Sabes qué es lo que yo creía? Que nosotros no nos podían haber dado en el momento. Una frazada. Eh, pedía, suplicaba que me dieran leche para los niños. Eso todo llegó de parte de ellos y de también unos familiares. Pero como uno encuentra que un familiar está más comprometido de repente. Pero ellos, ellos no, ellos no. Eso agradecido de las personas, de muy buen corazón, que hablaron por nosotros para que nos ayudaran también. Muchas gracias por todo lo que han hecho, que no nos va a quedar vida para contarle a todo el mundo lo que nos ha pasado con ellos. The Beckhart donation, corresponding to $619,000, was used mainly in building houses, repairs, psychological support programs for families, subsidies for repairing schools, purchase of household appliances, and basic furniture, among others. On their part, the Chilean companies donated a total of $268,000 that were distributed as a special subsidy among all the workers of the affected areas. In Chalam decided to help the rest of the community with the construction of emergency housing, among other actions. Most of the company staff were committed to this as a way of paying back the help that they received at the time. Finally, we can only thank all the people who gave us their support and help at this difficult time, when we were able to see for ourselves that Beckhart's Better Together is not only a slogan, but a reality.